Stuart Rhodes, founder of Oath Keepers a year ago, exploding all over the country and the world, is our guest. Tell us briefly about Oath Keepers. Go over the 10 orders you will not follow. This will hamstring the Achilles heel of the New World Order. And then let's get into your home safe program. Ladies and gentlemen, this is real. Foreign offshore banks have seized the United States. We're being censored. Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com. They don't want you to see Fall of the Republic, the Obama deception. I mean, I sell the DVDs and my films, but it's free and high quality on YouTube. D take advantage of these $200,000 films. It took me 200000 bucks to make this. It's free to you. I'm for real. We have a mission of defending the Republic. I want to add, Jason Burmes is coming up for three hours after us. Stuart Rhodes is going to be with him for the whole first hour. So the Infowars.com streams your local AM and FM. While you can still get it, Stuart, I want to get into Oath Keepers, but people better use the Internet while they've got it. Absolutely. Use it or lose it. That's right. Use it or lose it. Okay, get into Oath Keepers. Well, the whole point of Oath Keepers is the founders were smart enough to make the oath to the Constitution, not to any man or office. And so we are reminding all the police and military that they took a constitutionally required oath to support and defend that document against all enemies, foreign and domestic. It's a very powerful weapon on our side. So the focus is there. Remind them of the oath and teach them more about the Constitution. They've been intentionally dumbed down and kept ignorant through public schooling and also lack of education on the Constitution in the military. They're not taught about the Bill of Rights in the military. So we're going to make sure they know what they're doing. The good news is, though, when I say that the military is on fire with Oath Keepers and the three percenters, they are. They are, absolutely. Um, they understand that something's wrong. Uh, many of them are very traditional Americans and, and very sincere patriots. And so we know they have the courage, but courage without knowledge will not be sufficient. In fact, it'll be used by evil. That's right. Courage, that's right, it can, it can be twisted into thinking that you're being patriotic by defending the, the, uh, the uh, people against these evil extremist haters. And so that's the, that's, the, that's the tactic of our enemies. But our tactic is to remind them of the, the basic knowledge that we're trying to, to impart about our Bill of Rights, about the Declaration of Independence, about the core principles of national Because it's a hedge. When you don't have that, you're just like North Korea or Mexico. Mexico has tripled the resources we do. They're in squalor and tyranny because they have a corrupt system. Well, sure. I mean, the whole point of America is liberty. The De De Declaration of Independence makes very clear the whole point of the government is to secure mm -hmm. your natural rights. Meanwhile, FEMA's running around demonizing the founding fathers. Stuart, go over the ten orders you will not follow. Well, the ten orders are not the oath. A lot of folks are kind of uh, mistaken about that. The oath is to the Constitution that we all swore in our, our public service. But this declaration, the whole point of this is to get them thinking about the very clear lines in the sand, the most dangerous stuff. It's not everything that will be unconstitutional. I get emails from guys saying, what about posse comitatus? You know, you don't mention that. Well, this is, this is only a start. But these are the most dangerous ones. Number one, we will not obey any order to disarm the American people. Because that is what led to fighting in the first American Revolution. 1775. You betcha. So after all the abuse that they had suffered of all, of all their other natural rights, it was the attempt to disarm them that finally got, got to the point where they had to fight back. Number two is we will not obey orders to conduct warrantless searches of the American people, their homes, vehicles, papers, or effects, such as warrantless house-to-house -house searches for weapons or persons. And that happened during Katrina. The first mistaken. thing they went for was the guns in the high and dry areas. That's right. So, so people say, well, you're, you're paranoid. This will never happen in America. They're having knock and talk everywhere. They're shutting down gun shows without laws. That's a very, here in Austin, that's right. Yeah. That, was a, that was a terrible uh, example of arbitrary, capricious um, fiat law. No law at all. Just ruled by, by authority saying, I'm going to do this, right? No law passed by Congress. The ATF just came in and said, you cannot have private sales inside of the gun show. Yep. So number three is we will not obey any orders to detain American citizens as unlawful enemy combatants or subject them to trial by military tribunal. And this claim power is to me the, the most dangerous, is the claim that the president, as commander-in-chief, can apply the laws of war to you and I, American citizens. And notice they're now saying, oh, we'll kill U.S. citizens. Right, you, they'll target U.S. citizens. And what is the difference between targeting U.S. citizen in the Sudan and one here? Where is the constitutional separation between those two things? It's not there. If they can do it over there, they'll do it here, too. Padilla was arrested in Chicago O'Hare International Airport. It doesn't make a difference where you are. And we don't give up our Bill of Rights because of some fake boogeyman. It's come out the underwear bomber was protected by the government. That's mainstream news. Go ahead. Well, I mean, the basic point is whether or not an American citizen is actually making war against his own country, the remedy is, is an article. They get trial. due process because they throw out the entire due process if we don't. 
Absolutely. If, if you're so afraid of, of Islamic terrorists that you're willing to tear apart the Bill of Rights and throw it away, you'll wind up in Nazi Germany. Which we are now doing. Go ahead. That's exactly right. Number four is we will not obey orders to impose martial law or a state of emergency on any state or to enter with force into a state without the express consent and invitation of the state's legislature. And you have to do that because the John Warren Defense Authorization Act says even if the governors say no, we're going to do it. And now he's created a puppet 10-member governorship to claim he has power over the states. And right. they admit they are taking over the states. And the secret Homeland Security documents admit it's actually for a takeover of America. I mean, we have the documents. This is for the American people, not for guys in turbans. That's the whole point of that Council of Governors is to circumvent the requirement of the, of the uh, authorization of the state legislature. Article 4, Section 4 of the Constitution says that only upon the application of the state legislature, or if they can't be convened, the executive, can the feds come in even to stop an insurrection against the state. Like, say, there's an insurrection against the government of Texas. And they want to, and the feds want to come in to stop that. They can't do anything without the invitation of your legislature or your governor. Because the states created the federal government. Go ahead. That's exactly right. So number number five is we will not obey orders to invade and subjugate any state that asserts its sovereignty and declares the national government to be in violation of the compact by which that state entered the union. We are a dual sovereignty system. States have the power and responsibility to intercede and guard that and now a whole bunch of attorney generals and states are moving to block unconstitutional gun laws government health care everything and the feds are moving in continue right but they're they're asserting their sovereignty it's a it's a two two systems if the states were to in, in interfere with the with the sovereign sphere of the national government they will defend that it's the everything is a separation of powers that's right we will not obey orders to blockade American cities, thus turning them in the giant detention camps. And that's in all these executive orders, this biological attack order. Well, it's also was done during Katrina. People were not, not allowed to leave out of New Orleans and cross the bridge. It's in our film. It's on our website. At Oathcruise.org, you can go there and watch that video. We have clips there of, of uh, Shepard Smith from Fox News standing on the bridge saying, they will not let them cross this bridge to get out of there. Continue. We will not obey any order to enforce America, to force American citizens into any form of detention camps under any pretext. And that was done already in our history to the Japanese Americans. And the Italians. Italians. And we now have the National Emergency Centers Act that admits they've built the camps. That's exactly right. They're, they're putting together, I mean, a lot of this stuff is dual use. They put together um, a, a detention center or an emergency center, supposedly for refugees from other countries, et cetera, but they always have dual use. But Well, back in 99, uh, with the, that staged event in the Seattle, the WTO, they put them in the Sandpoint Naval FEMA brig. And also happened in New York City, too, correct? Yeah, right. uh, Pier 57. We will not obey orders to assist or support the use of any foreign troops on U.S. soil against the American people to keep the peace or to maintain control. And we know the Army War College is teaching they'll use foreign troops. In LEO 9 last year, FEMA with 14 uh, nations trained to, quote, take on American terrorists. Well, you also had, you also had a weird thing where you had uh, foreign troops training with our National Guard across the country. You had Uzbekistani troops up in Montana, of all places. And once again, it's an example of dual use. They say they're there for only training them to go back home and do But then they job. admit it's for domestic use. Go ahead. Right. We will not be orders to, so they're... Um, we would consider such use of foreign troops against our people to be an, inv an invasion and act of war. Number nine, we will not obey any order to confiscate the property of the American people, including food and other essential supplies under any emergency pretext. And that's in executive orders. It, oh, absolutely. To take the yeah. food. And it's also been used historically as a weapon of war as well. No easier way to subjugate a people than to cause a famine or to confiscate like what was done to the Kulaks, right, by, by Stalin. So, number 10 is, we will not obey any order which infringes on the right of the people to free speech, to peaceably assemble, or to petition their government for redress of grievances. And we have the free speech zones, we have the provocateurs they hire to go to events, we have the clear program going on of restriction. Let's talk about the new programs that Oath Keepers are launching. I want to tell the listeners again, Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com suddenly are being censored all over the world. This is confirmed. Big reports coming up live tomorrow. Final segment with Stuart Rhodes straight ahead. While you can still visit them, Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com, Fall the Republic, the film online. Get it today.